Life is a canvas and paint in the mind. Colors dance, spill outside the lines. I refuse to settle, never the black and white. Rock the neons until the day I die. I'm on a constant search to make my heart swell. Light off too much, shoot like hell. Half my night spent in a hotel. Hey everyone, it's design team member Rhonda here, uh, bringing you a new holiday uh, kit that is now available in the Gone Artsy shop. And uh, this is a great little kit that you could keep for yourself or you could use for presents to your fat crafty friends. So uh, this kit comes all packaged up all nice and Christmassy for you when you receive it and um, now I have pre-opened this so um, to get a little bit of a head start on what we're going to be doing but then I wanted to show you how it will come so you get a bottle of the Go Fusion glitter in these cute little glass bottles which are great to use for projects later on fun fun and you may hear my jingle bells going <laughs> and you can get this beautiful little bag now some of the colors that you receive may be you know a little different but then you can use this you know you could alter it up or be great just to use for gift cards I like two for one stuff so yeah Let's see what all we will get in here. You'll get some seam binding. Okay. You'll get some cute little tassels. You'll get some bling. And this particular kit, it has these. And look at that beautiful little stick pin that you can use on a project. Isn't that precious? So we're going to take that out and put it over here. Now this beautiful lace, Deb carries in the shop and it comes in white. This she has dyed especially for this kit. And it's kind of like a, a tea stain color. Isn't that beautiful? I just absolutely love that color. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So we're going to lay that up there. Now, here's just some more seam binding to do your holiday crafts with and again this all comes packaged like a present so it's great for gift giving alrighty now I'm going to show you what all comes in this so this is graphic 45 put that over there this is what you will get alright and this particular kit is green and then she'll be doing a, a green and gold and she'll be doing a red and gold now this also has one more sheet, but I've, like I said, I've been working on it. And here is this sheet that also comes in. I'll put that like that. There we go. Pretties, pretties. And then of course, on the other side, they are all solids and kind of earthy. Okay, now the next thing that also comes in this kit, these are these fan blades, it's a set of five by Fab Scraps, and they come in their own package, and again, I have already took that apart, and what I have done is I have glued some of these together here that we're going to work with, like so. I just used my favorite adhesive. And by the way, Deb carries a few different types of adhesives in the shop, so be sure to check that out. And then we're just going to cut these out. Now, uh, these would be great. I already have another sheet here prepared. We're going to use this sheet as well. And all I did was glue those on. Now, we'll set these sheets aside. And you can use them, you know, to build more onto your projects. All right, you know what? I just had an idea. We'll start with that. Uh, anyhow, to build more onto your projects, um, you know, on the fan blades, or you, you have enough left over to do something else with. Now, these little fan blades, they are absolutely darling. They have a little filigree up here at the top, and then the hole. And again, I have just glued all these on. 
uh, the two sheets that I wanted to use for this. These would make cute little ornaments, okay, individually, but we're going to put together a fan card. Something that someone, you know, uh, it can even be made into, you know, like one big ornament to hang on the tree, or it could just be set out for display during the uh, Christmas holidays. So, again, I have already uh, glued these on. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to show you how I cut that this one out. Okay. Using the fun little gyro cutter. And I'm probably saying that wrong because it may be pronounced gyro, but I think it's gyro. Uh, Deb also carries refillable blades in these. And this pivots. It's a swivel blade. Pretty awesome. So when you're going around edges, it's absolutely wonderful. So I'm just going to use this piece that came in my kit that she shipped it with so it would be nice and stable because I cannot find my self-healing mat. Now, this tool, I will tell you this, uh, it takes a little while to get used to because it's all about pressure um, when using this. And I'm hoping that you all, yep. And see how that just went right around there. And we're going to continue to move right on around. Now, sometimes you may have to go over it a couple times. Again, until you get used to the pressure. And that time I ran right over my finger. And it just moves like a pen. Okay. See my scissors right there. It kind of oozed out a little bit. So I just need to go over it just a little bit more. And if I could see better, oops, I went up on the blade. It would help too, it really would. Old ass. <clears throat> This little tool is really great for like when you're in little intricate spots. There we go. That's what this little tool is really awesome for. Ta-da! And I'm going to use my scissors just to, like I said, my vision is poo. Need new glasses really bad. And these scissors are also in the shop, and they are also wonderful to use. But I really like how that went around the edges of the blades. And again, these are the laser scissors that Deb, they help you, uh, you know, cut straighter. These are really great for material because they are like super sharp. Remember, whatever scissors you use for your material just doesn't get it for that. Okay, now we have two of those blades done. Now I'm going to show you another fun little tool that are my favorite. And let me see, I may not have them over here. No. The Deb carries in the shop and they are punches. And they come in a set of three. I've had these for a long time and Deb was inspired to get them in the shop and they're just spring loaded and they come in three different sizes. Okay, and here you can see where I've got some paper on them. And then the fun part about it, if you use eyelets, you know, for a project, just put your eyelet through the hole and then you can use your ends here 
two, just turn them over, and then you pant about, well, you lift the spring up, and you, then you release it, and then that spreads out the backs of your eyelids when you're using these. So, now I'm not going to lie, they are a little loud, but I really like these punches. So we're just going to put that there. Now it is going to be loud, folks, so and then you just do that a few times. I don't really have the right surface to do this on here. And again, it's loud. I apologize. And ta-da! We have punched our hole. I really like these. Alright, I will punch those in just a little while. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to my other sheet here. And we'll get these cut. When my husband and I got married, a cousin of ours, or a cousin of mine, gave us the most beautiful wedding card. And it was a, a Victorian fan, because she knew, you know, I love that type of stuff. And I had never, ever seen a card like that before. Now, that was 22 years ago. And, um... We had, at our wedding reception, we had a lot of our cards were stolen. There were some young kids that were hanging out inside the venue that we had used. Now, I don't know if they did it or not, but, you know, several weeks later, folks were asking why we had not cashed you know, our wedding checks, and we're like, well, we didn't get them, so, um, sorry about that, so, come to find out, that's what happened, well, one of the cards, fortunately, everybody had gave us checks, so they were able to stop them, and, um, well, some had. We don't know if there was any that got away with the cash, but um, one of them happened to be my cousin's. And so bless her heart, she got us another card in replace of it. And, um, you know, now this is a new card, which she didn't have to do, but I thought that was so sweet of her. But yes, it was a, it was a fan. But that's all water under the bridge now. 20 some years later, you know. All right. Here is what we have so far. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter the patterns. Okay. I'm going to still put in the other punches. Okay. get done it'll be something like that almost makes me think of peacock feathers which we know Deb loves peacocks don't we now what I want to do is I want to take a section of this beautiful lace the only part about this lace is this flower right here almost looks like a poinsettia so that works great with staying in the um, Christmas theme. Well, what I'm doing is I'm cleaning up these little edges so then that way they look more finished. Well, first thing I'm going to do is 
is, we'll get this glued on. I think what I'll do is I'll put it on the back of the flower part. That way I can go in and maneuver. Let's see if I have that nice and even. I have to remember I have a hole down here. All right, we'll give that a few minutes to dry. Let me add a little bit more glue down here. Now we'll just let those dry. And then I'll decide if I want to wrap. All right, I will be back and I'm going to cut more of these pieces just as I did this one. Okay, because as you can see here, what I'm going to do is clean up the little edges here and then take out these pieces here and clean it all up right on either side of that. So, stay tuned and I'll be back. Hey everyone, I'm back and I want to show you what I have done so far. Uh, I have cut the lace in sections like this okay and I first started out I had cut out right here you'll see the little pieces right here and then I went back in and I decided to cut out this little portion right here and I'll show you what I'm going to do on this that I decided to take out as well when assembling these. Like so. I ended up liking it a lot better. And as you can see, I took out that little section right on that other side there. And I went through and did that with all of them. And then I just kind of cleaned them up like so alrighty and I did that with all of those using this beautiful lace and again this comes dyed okay I just think these are so pretty okay uh, next again I had used this pattern that was in the kit of the Graphic 45 and I used this, oh no, 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 I used this pattern from the Graphic 45. Then what I decided to do, I had two sheets in this color, so what I did was I did that on the back, okay, and then this comes with little holes, so using these nifty, handy dandy Fiskar punches that I absolutely love which Deb now carries in the shop. I've had these for a while myself, but uh, Deb also carries them. Uh, I just punched my hose out using these, okay? Also, uh, I don't know if I mentioned before, but when you're doing your eyelets, um, you can put your eyelet through where you've made your hole, flip these over, pound it again, and then it spreads out the back of, of your eyelets. Yeah, that will set your eyelet for you. Okay, next. Again, like I said, I used the solid greens because I had two sheets of that in the same color um, to do my backs with. And then I just went around and I distressed the edges using the Tim Holtz Vintage Photo, which Deb also now carries several of the Tim Holtz distressing inks in the minis. So check that out okay now again here's one of the blades I'm going to show you how I did this 
uh, use my gyro cutter that Deb carries. Love this little tool. All right, now just let me rotate this around. Again, you want to use this on a self healing mat. I'm just using the uh, the uh, cardstock. Well, that came in the package. Uh, that was for support. Just let me get this. Again, this tool is all about pressure. Once you get used to using it, then you know how much pressure to use. It's a wonderful old tool. I love it for a little ink, ink, ink. Oh, goodness. Very detailed. Intricate. Probably still not saying that right. All right, there we go. Ta-da. All done. Okay. And there we have it. And let me get that out of the way. Now, oh, I missed a little spot. Hang on just a second. Ta-da! And there you have it. And then when I use my distressing ink, you know, it just covers that up. Now, we'll put that over here and get it out of our way because I believe we are done with it. And we'll move this. Now, I just had my little piece. What did I do with it? There we go. All right. Now, all I'm going to do is clean up this one little edge over here as well. So, I'm going to be out of shot just for a minute. Now, we'll just go on. And I just used my Journey Glaze. Again, Deb carries several different adhesives in her shop. <clears throat> and I just glued it down like so. And I came back and went across the edge here. Try not to use too much because it will change the color of the lace a little bit. But it looks like it dried very well, so you really can't. No, I can see it right there just a little bit. So you don't want to use a lot, just, just enough to tack it down. And a really good adhesive is going to hold anyway, so. And then we'll lay that over. Now, we're going to set that one aside and let it dry. Now, the next thing I want to show you is using the um, uh, glitter glass, okay, all I did was I took and put myself a little bit of this down. Alrighty. Again, you can hear my jingle bells. And I just sort of brushed these are just some little cheap brushes that came out of little paint kits. And the paints had dried up. So I salvaged as much as I could out of them. They were Christmas themed ones, I think. So I passed the uh, boards on. They were Christmas Disney princesses, I believe is what they were. And I passed them on to our accountant. She um, keeps all that kind of stuff in her office for little kids when they're in there. So it keeps them entertained while she's working with her customers. And um, I kept the paintbrushes and 
That way they got salvaged a little bit anyway. And then I'm just going to knock that on there a little bit. Give it a second. And I'm just going to take a piece of paper right here and knock all that off. Just want to hit each one of those flowers with a little bit of glitter like so just to give it a little shine and enhance that flower and I'm just going to take my glitter put it right back in my little paper and there we go okay now let me set that aside for right at the moment All right. Now again, I used two different patterns. So what we're going to do is alter those. Okay. And our little fan. And then I have this one. Alrighty. Now what we need to do here is finish this one. Because I'm not sure. Before I do that, I want to finish my putting my hole in back here. So what I'm going to do, and I'll distress this one later, I have sat the distressing ink out of the way, and I'm not too for sure where I have set it. Um, ah, the whole patch. Ta -da. Now this will be a little loud. Nope. Now these come in three different sizes as well. I need to get all three punches. Now, turn this over. Again, it's going to be a little loud. And then just push or pull and release. Let me turn. And we have our little hole. Now, we are done with these. So we're going to get these out of the way. And again, they come in a set of three. And you can get these in the shop. I absolutely love these. Alrighty. Now this one I'm not going to glitter. I have other plans for it. So what we're going to do next is assemble. Okay. Now this one I did need to glitter. Well, that's all right. Okay, well, we're going to glitter this one up now. It was one of these that I didn't want to glitter, but that's all right. Not a problem. All right, again, I just placed, I put that right in the center there. Okay, now on the petals, I'm just going to lightly brush a little bit of glue. Nothing major, nothing drastic. Now, we'll add some more. Of the glitter. Real, 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 real good tap. It's very pretty and it shines. Oh gosh. It's gorgeous and this comes in uh, several colors. So be sure to check those out. All right, now what we're going to do is we'll leave that one laying there. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to take this one. Yeah, I'm going to use that one. Okay. Now, this is still just a little wet, so I'm going to heat this one with a glue gun. Glue gun. Heat gun. Just for a second, just to get it to dry a little bit. Now, 
Now, what I'm going to do is assemble these to where they sort of match up right like that. Okay? And what I'm probably going to do is do that with some hot glue because I want them to look like they, you know, flow right together. But yet I have to keep the holes in line because we are going to put one of the tassels um, through there. So that's what that's going to look like. On these, I want to do pretty much the same thing. Being in mind, I've got to keep the holes lined up. And then these will go like this. Alrighty. Okay, I gotta switch these. Because then this one is going to lay right in the center. Like that. Alrighty. So let me go on and put this one on. I think that'll work better. Okay. And there we have our fan. And we'll let that sit just for a minute. Next, I want to come in and take one of these beautiful pieces of bling. And I want to place it right there, right in the center. We're going to put this beautiful piece right here. Now, I would suggest using something like uh, E6000 or something because hot glue does not do well with metals, as we all know. But for video's sake, I am going to apply with the hot glue. Here's what we have so far. And this just make a beautiful little piece to display on an easel. All right. And if you want to make it functionable, of course, you um, would not want to glue all of your sections together as I did. Because um, my intentions was at first to create a car that opened, you know. And you could sign, you know, one of the backs. But then I thought, no, I think I want to make this just a beautiful little uh, piece just to display. And you could put it on an easel. And then if you even wanted to, you could create it to where it's an ornament all its own. And maybe put you a hole up here. And then use your seam binding to, uh, you know, create your hanger. But um, I decided I wanted mine just to sit on display. So, now the next thing I want to do is I want to take one of the little tassels, and you can get these in a set of two, and I am going to run mine through using one of my big needles, whoops, just because, well, it'll make it easier. Anyhow, I've got one with a nice large eye, and I'm just going to... easily feed the tassel in through there. 
And I'm just doing this to make it easier to feed through these holes down here. Like so. Okay, now what I'm going to do is pull through like so. Ta-da! And there we go. And then I'm going to feed my little tassel. Right through. It's not that difficult to do. It's just, like I said, I can't see. And ta-da! There we go. Isn't it darling? Just give it a nice good pull. And there you have it. So cute. Now, the next thing I want to add on, of course, is some of the seam binding. Now, I'm going to go on and just use what my package was wrapped in because it's nice and crinkled. Uh, it appears that someone has ran off with the water bottle even. But uh, I suggest wetting this and scrunching it all up. Because I just think that would look more antique and vintage. Let's get a nice little bow here made. Everybody's got their own way of doing bows, of course. But I think before I add that, I am going to scrunch it up. And of course, y'all see my fun little Martha Stewart trick I like to do. You just take your, your tail, fold it in half, cut it in an angle. And you get the perfect little V cut every time I did that. Let me try that again. Now then, there we go. Ta-da! And we're going to fold that one in half again. And ta-da! Keep your little scraps for fun little projects. Now I am going to scrunch this because I just think I would like it a lot better. So I'll have to go on a seek and find here. And then that is going to be placed right there. Now Deb also carries these fun pieces, the, uh, the blings in the shops are in the shop and these would look precious on there as well. Again, you could take uh, each blade single, you know, and make little ornaments out of it. You know, uh, you could also use more than one color seam binding in on this. Uh, this comes, this kit comes with the green. And again, it came with the bling. A tassel, the beautiful lace that she has dyed, and again you can get this in the shop in white. I'm making sure I have all my pieces here. The seam binding, and of course the Fab Scraps fan, and then your Graphic 45 sheets. And she will be doing a green kit, green and gold, and a green, um, red and gold. And this beautiful stick pen is what had the lace wrapped up. And we'll lay that right there for you all to see. Now your blings may vary. Uh... And of course your stick pins will vary and they all come in this beautiful a beautiful little bag which you can also alter as well and then you have plenty left over to make other little creations with so stay tuned for the pictures at the end and uh but like i said i'm going to scrunch this up 
before I take pictures because I think it would look more antique. Oh, and your glitter. almost forgot that. All right, everyone, be sure to check out the shop, not only for this wonderful kit, but all the new products that she has available. And don't forget about the wonderful tools that's available in Dove Shop, like these wonderful scissors. This is my all-time favorite tool that I always tell everyone they should have in their crafting room. These are great for embellishments, flatbacks, pearls to work with. Uh, love this tool. And then, of course, the wonderful heart pieces Whoops, that she carries in the shop. Another one of my favorites. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for stopping by. Thanks so much for uh, taking a little gander at the new kit that's going to be available in the shop. And I am wishing everyone early happy holidays. Happy, happy holidays because they are upon us. All right, everyone. Take care. Happy crafting. And have a wonderful day. Bye bye. You get one heartbeat song. Take it seriously. This is your man.